What's going on guys? It's Mr. Affleck 9916 Jack Davis 32 saves on the year. I forgot to do the uh, save counter in the last episode. We'll be continuing it in this episode though as we uh, continue on and we blew our first save in our, the last episode so we're now 32 for 33 but overall that's still really good numbers down here in double-a baseball. I hope everyone's having a good week. It is Monday and it's finals week for me. I don't have any today. Um, I mentioned that because I, obviously this video today and then tomorrow I'll probably be able to get a video up but probably not Wednesday and maybe not Thursday as well because Thursday I'm coming home and I'm gonna be super busy that entire day so it, it unfortunately I mean maybe Wednesday night I can get something up but I, I cannot promise a video either one of those days just because I'm gonna be extremely busy with two finals on Wednesday a final on Thursday and then moving home on Thursday so I, I understand all you guys will uh, do your best just bear with me because once I get home I'll be literally free until August and I'll just have so much time to put up videos even more than I am now but that's pretty much the scoop for what's coming up this week still waiting on those uh full roster update so we can start our franchise as well but that'll happen soon but that's really all the updates I have for you not much to report from the weekend and all that my Minnesota Twins how about that game I'm sure a lot of you saw it they lost in the 16th to the Nationals it was an unbelievable game they were winning four to one and then Bryce Harper hit a game tying home run in the ninth inning a solo shot actually to make it 4-4 four, four. Twins took the lead 5-4 in the 15th Nationals tied it in the bottom of the 15th and then won it on a home run in the bottom of the 16th one of the most exciting games I've ever watched unfortunately my Twins came up just short and they got swept by the Nationals unfortunately so they played tonight three game series against Cleveland which will be nice be because uh, I actually get it on TV because I'm living in Ohio right now at least I'm living in Ohio for four more days before I you know go back home for the summer to Pennsylvania but um, I'll be able to watch it on at Fox Sports Ohio I think that's the Reds whoever has the Indians I don't know if, if you guys live in Ohio you know but <laughs> whatever um that's pretty much that as you see we get our first save here in this episode do a little training as well and now going to do some training sessions uh, doing a little simulated game as you can see we're gonna get a strikeout already into the bronze medal at this point two cha two batters left we're gonna get yet another strikeout that curveball low has been a great pitch for us this year and with one batter left runner on first he's gonna ground into what's gonna be a nice little double play here great job by the defense turning that one that was a close play at first but according to the umpire he was out and we get 350 training points and the gold medal so I'm very happy about that we're going to use that to make us better. As you can see, our sinker velocity has not improved at all this year. Year-to-date change zero, so we're going to add a few training points into that. We actually uh, add a bunch to uh, go from 70 overall to 73 on that since we haven't added anything to that this year. I want to try to you know, improve everything the best I can, but we're up to 58 overall, so definitely getting better. Hopefully we'll be in the mid-60s sometime next year. That might be good enough to get to the MLB. I don't know. We'll see. We are in the Padres, which are a terrible team, so they might call me up. But first batter in this next game, we're down 2-0. We're going to throw a fastball outside. He doesn't swing. It's now 3-0, so just trying to throw a fastball in the zone, and we miss yet again. So it's a four-pitch walk to start out this game. That's not a good way to start out the game. We have a three-run lead, though, so I'm still not concerned about much. Good job coming back on the next batter with a swing and strike. Then the 1-1 pitch, he's going to hit a fly ball to right field. This one should be playable by the right fielder. He'll make an easy catch, and there is one gone, so good job bouncing back from the walk and getting a fly out. I would have rather had a double play, but whatever. Next batter, it's 2-0 to him. We're going to go outside. Here's the pitch. He looks at a sinker, which we actually missed inside with, but that's okay. It's 2-1. Now the 2-1 pitch, we're going to go outside again. He's going to hit this one lined into left field. That's going to fall for a base hit. So suddenly, runners on first and second. And don't look now, but the tying run is at the plate. So not a good job so far in this game, allowing a hit and a walk. Here's another look at that pitch. As you can see, I didn't miss by a ton. I think I left it over the plate a little bit, but that's also a good job of the hitter just going down and getting that one hitting it the opposite way. 
Next batter comes in. 1-0 pitch to him. He swings and misses on a fastball. It's 1-1. One one. Looking for that ground ball double play. We're going to go sinker low. See what happens. He hits a ground ball, but it finds the hole just past the first baseman. And a run is going to come around third and score. And he gets to second because it's bobbled by the right fielder. So all of a sudden, the tying run's on second base. The winning run will come to the plate. Now, here's another look. We got the ground ball. As you can see, it just went right down the first baseline. A little more to the right, it would have been foul. A little more to the left, we would have had a game-ending double play. As you can see, the right fielder bobbles it, and that allows him to take second base. So, not good at all right there. Next batter comes in, 1-0 pitch to him. He swings and misses. At this point, we just need a strikeout because we do not want another run to score. Here's the 1-2. He swings and misses. So, good job right there for Jack to get the strikeout. Trying to finish this game now, it's 1-0. Here's a pitch, that's lined to left. One run's gonna score, here comes another run. He'll score, and the game is tied as he's in the second with a double. So a disastrous, disastrous hit right there. And that was pretty much exactly the same as the last batter. He, he, we got him to hit it on the ground, but it just found the hole down the baseline. And they are gonna pull me from this game. Jose Dominguez will take over and I blow my second save of the year so 33 for 35 now four saves on the year still not bad statistics at all but we've blown two saves pretty close to each other that is not good at all guys coming into the next game trying to bounce back we have a two run lead we need a good game here we're gonna get started with a ball that's been a problem recently, it seems like, not throwing first pitch strikes in this episode over these last couple games, so we got to work on that. We're able to get it back to 2-2. We go with the curveball. He swings and misses, and we get the strikeout. That curveball does wonders for us, doesn't it? Next batter comes in. We are able to throw a first pitch strike to him, so that's a good job getting ahead in the count with a fastball. 0-1. Now the 0-1 pitch. We go back inside. He's going to ground this one, but it just goes foul. Chopped foul, really. He's able to get it to 1-2, and two, but here's the pitch. He does not look, and it's 2-2, two and two, so a good job by the batter to not swing at that one. That's a tough pitch, that sinker low and in, not to swing at. We're going to go curveball inside and low. We're working them inside a lot in this at bat, and he swings and misses, so we get another strikeout. Two out now and a chance to finally get a save. Here's the first pitch, swung on and missed on a fastball inside. He works it back to 1-1. One and one. He's going to pop this one up. It's going to go foul into the crowd no the catcher drops it are you serious that would have ended the game but the catcher dropped it so it's now one and two going for the strikeout though and we get it jack davis strikes out the side a wonderful job by him coming back after blowing that save to hold on and get the save in this episode i want to thank everybody for watching this video make sure you rate comment and subscribe how about a like for striking out the side i think that's worth it right <laughs> More videos coming up later this week. As I said, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But for now, we'll see you next time on Mr. F like 9916. Peace.